Woo. This has uh, not been a smooth start to our long leg of the journey. Um, today kicks off our start of what I call the grind, which is our shot out to the West Coast. We're actually in Oklahoma City right now, and uh, we're headed to Seattle, Washington. And this is like, uh, it's a long drive. It's like 2,000 miles. The thing is, you gotta make sure that all your equipment is 100% in check because, you know, it's very important that you get there stress-free and reliably and everything's good. Unfortunately, like I said, it's been a little bit of a rough start. Yesterday, I changed the oil in the rig and in the generator, and that was a huge mess. The uh, oil catch can uh, flipped over and spilled all over me, so that was cool. And then um, I, uh, sorry, try to get through this gate without crushing something. Okay, I made it. Um, anyway, from there I um, decided, well, I go ahead and work on the windshield wipers because we only have one wiper linkage on right now. It's not working very well. I gotta fix these wipers. Well, that didn't go well either. In fact, I broke something while I was doing that. So today I said, okay, I'm just gonna wake up, fresh start, fresh mind. I gotta take the coach to a tire store here in Oklahoma City to get the right front tire replaced because it has very, very bad wear on it. So um, I planned on getting to the tire store before eight o'clock this morning to, uh, you know, to get us back on the road as quick as possible. But we woke up to a complete disaster. We got out of bed this morning, we came downstairs and there was water everywhere. Um, the shower, the little handle on the shower was just bumped a little bit. And so the shower filled with water, the gray tank filled up, the shower filled up, and then the whole front area of the rig was flooded. There's water pouring out the sides and um, yeah, good times. Um, but cleaned it all up, everything seems okay. It's not the first time this thing's had water in it. Um, yeah, just probably throw that away. We do have a little bit of water damage, but nothing that's not unfixable. Um, we had laundry all up here that we were gonna put away, all clean laundry from yesterday, and it got mostly wet too. So Tasha's going to redo the laundry from yesterday. I'm gonna take this to the tire store, and then um, we're gonna head out. The weirdest part about being in Oklahoma City is that Carter is going to stay here. So Carter will be here for three weeks while we go to Seattle. And then um, he's gonna fly into San Jose where we will pick him up when we're down there in Monterey for the next round of racing. So that's gonna be weird, traveling without Carter. And it'll be his first time flying alone. So I think he's excited for that. He's a little bit anxious, but he's excited. Uh, definitely, speaking of anxiety, Carter, you know, he has type 1 diabetes, and this is the longest that he's been apart from us, and definitely the farthest distance he's been apart from us ever, um, let alone with him having diabetes. So, we, we do have the app on our phone where we can look at his blood sugar and kind of make sure he's keeping things in check but it doesn't make it any less worrying, you know, when you're that far away from them. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're grappling with that too. Today, I think we're going to drive towards Albuquerque. Believe it or not, we do not know which route we are going to take to Seattle. I have no idea. Uh, there's a couple possible routes. I'm checking elevation and gas prices to determine which way we're gonna go. Uh, tentatively, we are, we're going through the south southwest, you know, like I said, towards Albuquerque and then up. But I haven't done enough research yet. So taking this to the tire store, there's going to be what I assume will be a long wait to get in there. And in that time, we'll do some research and figure out what direction we're going to head today. This is how it always goes. And it's okay because... You know, we fly by the seat of our pants, we get to where we're going, no harm, no foul. It's kind of fun just um, shoot from the hip sometimes, you know? You don't have a solid agenda that you gotta follow, you just know you gotta be somewhere in two weeks. 
All right, we can make that happen. Man, it is windy today. You know what? Maybe we won't go to Albuquerque because there is a really strong headwind coming out of the west. And uh, again, fuel economy. You gotta think about those things. Maybe we'll head north. I guess I'll check the weather in addition to the elevation and fuel prices. Travel anxiety is a real thing. Part of the reason we're here in Oklahoma City is I had a doctor's appointment, um, kind of a psychiatric evaluation. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. But I have some anxiety. This is kind of a new thing for me. Anxiety and, and definitely some ADHD stuff going on. But uh, anyway, I went to get checked out. And I can just tell you, yes, like being anxious about traveling is it's a real thing and it's, it adds stress. You would think that traveling, good lord, what is, see, speaking of anxiety, I don't know what is happening back there, but things are breaking. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is, um, you would think that traveling, you would be, uh, you'd be relaxed and, kind of go with the flow and everything's cool every day's a vacation but really every mile is a is a job like with this thing and with work and internet trying to figure everything out um it's really stressful like there are a lot of things that go into this lifestyle so before we get on the road i'm usually pretty anxious i mean for the past three days my my stress level's been here and so I'm trying to do the little things, you know, around the rig and with our business. Sorry. I'm trying to do the little things that get us ahead on, on rig maintenance and at work so that I can drive stress-free, undeterred, go down the road. And the only thing I have to worry about is the traffic in front of me and maybe the things behind me falling off of shelves and breaking. Um, but that's it. I don't want to worry about the tire getting ready to blow out or the windshield wipers not working, which is actually something that's going on right now. Hence my stress level. Uh, so the flood didn't help today, is what I'm saying. But I just wanted to touch on that while I am feeling stressed and anxious before this long trip. I just wanted to tell you all about travel anxiety. It's, it's a real thing. And it's part of RV life. I think a lot of our viewers will relate to, not all of them, but I think if you're running a business, especially, and if you do a lot of traveling that's based around events that you have to be at, or people that you have to meet at a specific time in a different state, you just want everything to go smoothly. And you want to just get there safely, stress-free. Uh, this doesn't, never works out that way. So uh, hopefully we get this tire fixed, we get on the road and, and everything's good. We'll see. Well, I've arrived at TNW Tire here in Oklahoma City. Uh, hopefully they can get us squared away in a pretty quick manner. TNW, TNW is pretty awesome in my past experience with them. But I get here and, and uh, you know, I was trying to figure out what all broke while I was driving. And uh, here's the thing, um, one of our drawers came out and it's uh, all, all jacked up. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna work on that while I'm waiting to get in here. This is just not, I feel like, Never mind. I'm not going to say it. This is stressful. Stressful. Good news. The drawer is repaired. It's now better than ever. Put some screws over here in the side. So that's great. And then I walk back in the uh, garage area here to get my tools. And I realized that the air conditioner up there has drained all the water back here. So I got a bunch of water back here on the floor. Sick of it. Sick of it. I've lost my phone. I don't know where that went. Um, I'm losing my mind is what I'm losing. This is crazy. Uh, I'm going to work on the windshield wipers now. As soon as I find my phone. Uh, 
Uh, this place is such a mess too. So we're just, we're just freaking out a little bit. Not a fun RV day so far. Mm. This is our workspace right now. Rig's in the shop, getting a new tire. We had to get a new tire, couldn't rotate it. So, it's like 500 bucks. Yay. Uh, you got a it's glimpse just, of me. Oh, I, I did get a glimpse of you. So it's just us three, Carter's not here. You're sad that he's not here? Yeah. But you want one little break from him? Yeah. That's the thing I'm happy about. Get a little break from him. Yeah, it is weird, but Carter's not here. Um, we all look a mess today. Well, I do. Beauty does. Tasha doesn't, though. She always looks great. I look that Yeah, we're pretty rough. I am wearing a green shirt with some blue shorts. I don't know who dressed me. But we're going to go back, pick up the RV, and hit the road. Yay. Yay. Um, I give up. I also give up. We're pretty much wiped out. We haven't even started yet. Over it. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Over it. Over it. Yep. Rumble is coming out of the garage with a new tire on the front. Looking glorious. I have no clue what it looks like. Glorious dude. All ready for the trip, babe. He's all ready. Are you? No. Morale is high in the Lackey family right now. Great. What do you want from me? I just want you to smile. Your camera's dirty. Yeah. It's... I just want you to smile. Can you smile? Yes, that's very nice. Why do I look so fat? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, no, you look fat and look beautiful. I'm going to go give him a bunch of money. Yeah, so it was really hot today. The road was very bumpy coming up to I-70 through western Kansas and Oklahoma. It was just a really rough, hot, annoying ride uh, getting up here. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, the rabbit overheated. He wasn't happy. It was just, it was rough. So we stopped at this rest area and um, got the grill out, made some burgers, had a oh. beer, and um, we're just kind of vibing as a family. And um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit started the road watching again. a movie. Started watching a movie, but we don't have time to finish it because I am gonna continue driving. Because we gotta <coughs> get out the hell out of the dodge. No, 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 no. Yeah, we gotta get Did away you from just these. Say we're gonna get a dog. No, we're gonna get a dog. That's false. That is not what I. Think. That's correct. I can confirm yeah. that is not gonna happen. <laughs> Another adventurous day. We also hit a jump. I'm pretty sure we jumped the RV today. What do you think? Oh, for sure. In a little town of, did the little t cute little town have a name? Um, I don't remember. It did, but I don't remember what it was. Neither. Little Kansas town had a uh, little tiny functioning schoolhouse. It was super cute, and um, we're like, a church, oh, look at that cute and we're like, everything's so house. cute here. Yeah, and then the actually... RV literally like ramped off the ground, and stuff went flying. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, so we did jump the RV for the first time. You ready to start rolling again, babes? All right, I'm gonna turn the light on for thumps. Let's see here. My guy back here. This, uh, this is actually probably the cleanest area in the RV, which is uh, sad. Plug this light in here. And ta-da. Okay, so this is, yeah, thumper's night light here. So uh, now that it's not now that it's not 100 degrees outside, he can be back there with the vents open and be comfortable. So, 
couple latches and uh, you're good to go. So let's see how the rest of tonight goes and then into tomorrow. We'll be in Colorado. Beautiful Colorado. We'll have some scenery. Yay. I do love driving through Colorado. So it's day two, a long trip. I'm gonna try to uh, work on the generator before it gets warm and hot and all that stuff. Why did that do that? This door catches the fender. I think our wall separated more tonight, or last night. Something happened for sure. Uh, okay, anyway. Um, yeah, just trying to hold this thing together a little bit longer. Uh, I'm gonna go work on the generator, see if I can fix the cooling situation so that it'll run longer today. Because um, we're gonna need the AC, so. But look at this, look at this door. The gap. happening there. I noticed this door didn't want to open today. It never really does, but... Alright, so something's wrong with the wall situation again. Probably need to pull this trim off and see if the bolts are broken. Um, that's not something I really want to get into, but gosh, I kind of have to. Man. Yeah, definitely. The wall's broken. Oh my gosh. I can't do it. It's not, uh, not good. I think this is the end of Rumble. If I'm honest. I don't see any, like... This is when people file bankruptcy. As you can see, tensions were mounting. Stress level was increasing, but I got to work on the generator trying to get some additional cooling to the Jenny, trying to get the air conditioning going in the coach so I could work on the wall outside. I took the trim off and I was able to assess the number of broken screws in the wall. Now, I've worked on this area before. Granted, when I did that, I had time, I had space, I had tools available to me, and most of that was not available here. We had to get to Seattle in a matter of days, which meant I had to fix this wall within the next two days, three days tops, and I didn't know how or where I was going to do that. I checked the screws out and I found that out of the 10 that were in the wall, nine of them were broken, maybe eight, but definitely a majority of the screws had sheared off. So now what? I started making phone calls, calling shops in the area, calling and texting friends. And I'm gonna ask you now to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications because we are going to turn this into a whole other episode in and of itself. This next fiasco is worthy of an episode all on its own. And we tried to make lemonade out of lemons. Did we do it? Stay tuned because we were able to limp our coach to the next spot. What spot was that? Where was it? And were we able to get this thing fixed? Again, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.